Obviously, I'm not Vincent Alexander. My name is uh, Jaden Carney, and I'll be walking you through today um, chords and progressions related to melodies from Heaven by Kirk Franklin. Now, obviously, um, this wasn't really that complicated. It was just a, the general gist of, you know, the song. Like, I've loved probably a million times through that entire tape. It's one tape, okay? But, you know, just getting the, like, the whole concept is you don't have to be perfect for it to sound like the song. Like, just as long as you stay in the realm of what we're doing, you'll kind of get the gist of the song and you'll be able to play it. And even when you mess up, you'll still sound okay. You know what I'm saying? So, like, for instance, um, this song is in the key of F. Okay, so it starts in the key of F. It goes up to the key of G, but I ended it at F sharp for time. Uh, time purposes but in this song um like i said we'll be in the key of f and the scale for f is f is the one g is the two a is the three b flat is the four c is the five d is the six e is the seven back at f with the one Okay, 
so get into the song. The actual intro of the song starts off on a five. So whatever the hits are, like I said, it's just the general chords and progressions related to the song. So I would do. Like I said, you don't organ, so have fun with it. Like you don't gotta really lock into patterns for real. Like that's the beauty of playing by yourself is that you don't really have to lock into a pattern. Now I will say, if you're playing this in a band setting, I wouldn't say watch this video. I wouldn't uh, encourage you to watch this video. Uh, if you were playing it in a band setting, I would encourage you to watch the piano version of this video. This is strictly like if you're just playing just organ and you just want other stuff to do rather than just playing the record. Like, be creative with it. Be di do, use different timing, use different, um, you know, licks, like different, you know, substitutions and stuff. Like, be creative. This is your space to be creative. If you're playing it by yourself with just you and a drummer, you know, at a church, you know what I'm saying? Be creative with it, use your space. Like, as long as you, you know what I'm saying, not clashing with anybody, like any of the vocals and you're not, in the way of everybody, like, you know, be creative. You know what I'm saying? Like, be as creative as possible while still staying out the way. I think that's a word for everybody. But, um, like I said, so on the four, you're not gonna voice it like a regular CCM four, okay? You're not gonna voice it like that. You're gonna voice it more so like a major, uh, really it's a B flat major seven. So, you're gonna voice it like, any of these, uh, you can voice it like that, you can voice it like this, this, uh, that. Same chord, just different inversions. So I would do, I, this is how I think I played it. Melody. And then on that six, you're gonna go to like a, also a major seven ish type voice, but it's really like a minor nine. Like, kinda in the same row to me. Like, honestly, you can call this a minor nine too, but it'd be over if you was doing it over two. Right here, major seven, like minor nine. So 